Tonight for dinner, we're gonna have karage chicken, which is a Japanese fried chicken. It's really good. Side of sugar snap peas and some brown rice. So let's do this. First, you wanna gather your ingredients. We got the star of our dish right here. This is um, some chicken thighs. These things cook really well. They don't dry out. They stay nice and juicy. We have a cup of short grain brown rice. That's gonna be nice. It's gonna cook a lot faster than the long grain. We have potato starch. This is um, what we're gonna use to coat our chicken before we fry it. Mari or soy sauce, whichever one you choose to use. Some ginger. You only need about one tablespoon or so. Have some garlic. Lemon for the end. This is good to uh, Sake, completely optional. We got vegetable oil or canola oil and some, this is some of that sesame oil. I like to mix both oils together. The thing we wanna do is marinate our chicken thighs. I marinate them for about two hours. You can marinate them overnight if you like. I just did two hours, that's fine. We got our microplane here. We're gonna shave down some of this Ginger, about a tablespoon. Boom, that looks about right. Grab that, chuck it in your bowl. Next, we got about three to four cloves of garlic here. We're gonna microplane them too. And there we go, grab that. Grab those ends too. Throw that in there. About two tablespoons of this tamari or soy sauce whatever you prefer. Tamari is gluten-free, soy sauce is not. A little secret ingredient, we got two teaspoons sugar. This will give it a little sweetness. This is completely optional. Let's not forget the sake. One tablespoon sake. This will all cook off. Whisk it all together. Rinse your chicken, pat dry your chicken, chop your chicken. You want them all to be about that size so they all cook evenly and quickly. You want to remove any hard pieces, tendons, whatever, so it's an easy chew, nice and delicious. We have our chicken thigh chunks here. We just throw it right in the marinade there. Don't be afraid to use your hands. Wash your hands with hot, warm water and soap. Now let's just marinate that chicken. Just get it all in there. Just don't be scared. Perfect. Now we cover it and uh, put it in the fridge for about two hours. Remember, you could do it overnight if you like. All nice and wrapped up and into the fridge for two hours or overnight. While you wait, this is a perfect time to catch up on any dishes you dirtied so you don't have that many to do later on tonight. It's been about two hours, but first things first, we want to start our brown rice. So we're gonna put a little bit of canola oil in there. We have one cup short grain brown rice. We're gonna saute that a little bit in the oil, about two minutes. You wanna add a little under two cups of water. Pinch of salt. Bring your brown rice to a boil. Cover it and lower the heat to a low. Let that simmer for about 35 minutes. Take your chicken out of your fridge. Unwrap your now marinated chicken. Get your potato starch. I like to use a bowl that has a top. Lay out a little potato starch in there, just like that. Okay, just dig your hand into here. Got all this delicious chicken here. Grab a couple pieces, lay them out. The potato starch, I like laying them down on one side. And then we're gonna pour a little bit more potato starch on the top and shake it up. Get them all nice and covered. Oh yeah, there we 
we go. Now we get our potato starch again. We just sprinkle a little bit on the top, just a little. There you go, that's nice. Cover your bowl. Now we shake it up. Okay. All nice and coated. Look at that. Beautiful. I just want to lay them out right here. Give them a chance to create a little crust. Now we add more potato starch to our bowl. We continue until all the pieces are now covered in batter. There we are. Now we heat up some oil and get ready to fry. So I like putting some vegetable oil, some sesame oil. This in return will give it a really nice taste. Set up. You want it to be about a medium. Take about 10 minutes or so. While we wait for our oil to heat up, I have another pot here with some water. I add a little salt. This is gonna be for our sugar snap piece. So bring that to a boil. This little drying rack right here is essential for the chicken. We're gonna line it with paper towels. Our oil is nice and hot. We're gonna drop in our chicken. Three to five minutes each side. Take them out, let them sit, do the other batch, and then we're gonna throw them back in for two minutes each side for the last crispy session. Boom, nice and beautiful. Let these guys rest for about 10 minutes while the other ones cook. And then we're gonna throw them back in for the final stage, the crispin. Rice is done, let it rest for 10 minutes covered. Now we crank up the heat and we throw them in for the crispin. We're going for about two minutes each side. And then that's it, they'll be nice and crispy. They're ready to go. Boom, nice, crispy, beautiful golden brown. Now what we wanna do is hit them up with a little season. I got Herbamare. Last but not least, we got the sugar snap peas. You can eat these raw. Um, I'm just gonna blanch them because I like the bright green color of them when they're blanched. But, uh, if you want them raw, just do them raw. We want them nice and crispy. So you wanna just blanch them for like 30 seconds in some hot water. Quick blanch so they're nice bright green. Dump them out and run them under cold water. They're ready to go. We're gonna season them really quickly with some sesame oil and some tamari or soy sauce, whatever you like. A little bit of roasted sesame seeds. Mix them up. Set up your dish. We got our nice karage crispy chicken right there. Got our brown rice and our sugar snap piece. Nice lemon right there on the side and there you go. That's dinner, nice and easy and extremely delicious. So enjoy and thanks for, um, thanks for joining me.